So I know I need to continue with the other video that got cut off, guys. It's real quick while my mom's washing her hair in the shower. Um, we were walking one day and my mother did not realize she had dropped her beloved dog's leash. As in, I'm sitting here talking to my mom, holding on to Omar as a handful. He pulls and stuff. He's very strong. That's why. Um, I, I, I got so upset with my mom when she said how she used to walk both dogs at the same time. I said, don't ever do that again, mom, please. Um, she didn't realize she had dropped her dog's leash. I don't say these things to be quote-unquote mean like my enemies accuse me of. She should not be driving. She, anybody, anybody who doesn't realize that they've dropped their dog's leash on the ground and their precious dog is ten feet behind them should not be driving. That's not me being mean. That's me not wanting to get a call. Like I didn't want it back in LA. I begged my mom. I was mean to her. I'm like, you can't, you shouldn't be driving. Mary's like, oh, accidents happen. Just get a rental car. Fuck you, Mary. It's not me being mean. It's me not wanting to get a call that my mother is fucking dead or hurt or maimed or paralyzed or has hurt someone else, you know? Get it? going to be out of the shower any minute. This is not the same theme, but I don't know. It all ties into just who I am and what I want. And I was at Bar Sinister in Hollywood. I was 50 pounds heavier than I am now. Um, forget when. Probably sometime after 2010. I, I'm, I don't know if it was before I, I had got, you know, slapped in the face with the, <laughs> the Chad Kruger did not love me. Uh, surprise, surprise there. Um, but whenever it was, it was sometime after, probably in 2010, um, sometime around there. I was at Bar Sinister in Hollywood. And, um, but like I said, even when I was heavier, I, you know, I wore, I was wearing a nice, you know, tight, well-fitting mini skirt and little cut top and, you know, wedgie heels this big and my hair and my makeup and whatnot. Nice looking guy. Nice looking guy was hitting on me. Okay? But how he was hitting on me was not by complimenting me or whatnot. It was by listing Oh, I'm an actor, and I've been in this movie, and this, or this sitcom, and done this, and this, and this, and this. His long list of credentials. I was bored out of my mind. I was shit-faced. I was there alone. All I wanted to do was dance. Just like the Eagle song, all she wants to do is dance. And I did not like the music that was playing that night. So it wasn't like I... I just, I wanted this guy just to say he want to get up there just so he would be touching me a little bit instead of listing off his credentials, but, you know, it's probably what, you know, tons and tons of men do in Hollywood, but, I mean, obviously he was attracted to me and he just wanted to brag and I just wanted to dance. The reason I say he was attracted to me, and yeah, he was attractive. Don't get me wrong, he was nice looking, tall, whatever, but... I wanted to dance. I was shit-faced. I didn't care about his credentials. I would have rather him say, God, you're gorgeous. I want my arms around you. Let's go up there. The music, I hated it. Okay? Um, but I went there on Depeche Mode tribute night. And then I danced all by myself. Just like I had done in Man at Man Ray and at Axis in, in the past. You know, in Massachusetts a million years ago. Okay? Um, but when I don't like the songs and I can't get into them and I can't dance by myself but on Depeche Mode trib night, tribute night at this bar sinister um, they did not just play Depeche Mode they played a bunch of fucking all kinds of songs that I loved I got up there and danced myself and I didn't even look as good as I look now because I was like 50 pounds heavier um, anyway Those two things are not related, except they just tell you how I am, I suppose. I don't know. I don't know. The longer I do this YouTube shit, the more fans I have. The people who really care about me. So, 
my enemies can write to me and say, what's the point of this? Why do you do this? Just like when I did my stripping channel. What's the point of this? Why do you do this? Or my website, or my doll did. What's the point? I don't see the point. There doesn't have to be a point. The point is self-expression. The point is, most people can't become quote-unquote famous in the real world, but a hell of a lot of people have done, have, and will in the future become famous out on the internet. It's a brand new world. And it's fun. It's not like I'm making any money doing it ever, huh? <laughs>